What's up, briefers and fellow YouTubers? It's Racing Reef here, coming back with another part of the 75 gallon reef tank build. As you can see here, I got my holes marked out of where I'm going to be drilling. I did tape on the other side of the tank, so when I cut through, the tape would catch the glass. And it does help from chipping a little bit. As you can see here, I am using a drill guide. I made this process a lot easier. I am doing the Herbie style overflow and I also have two three quarter inch returns. I know I would have been fine with just one, but I wanted to do two. Now if you're using a drill guide or even free handing this guys, I do warn you, let the drill bit do the work. Don't put a lot of pressure on it when you're drilling it because you will have a better chance at cracking the tank. As you can see here, here's the result. Everything turned out great with no issues at all. So right here I'm just gonna show you a little clip of me painting the back of the tank black. I'm not gonna show you all of it because it'd be kind of boring and it'd be like watching paint dry and that's not very fun. So I'm just using a little 6 inch uh, sponge roller and that's pretty much how I did it. I did three coats on it and that was it. Alrighty, so here's the sump for the 75 gallon reef tank. Now I did not do a video on the field, but I did take pictures, which I'll show you at the end after I get done explaining this a little bit. So uh, let's take a closer look. Guys, here's a little closer look. I did cut all the baffles myself. Um, sanded them. I sanded the edges that were cut and repolished. And uh, so this will be my uh, poking skimmer and my drain section. Uh, I do not have the filter stock holder on here yet. It's actually going to be sitting in that corner. And uh, if you look at the plumbing, one on the left, there's my main, one on the right, there's my backup. And so I'll be sitting down here in the corner, I will have a gate valve on it. And then, so, pulls over this first baffle, comes down, goes under this one, comes back up into my refugium. I did drill holes in this one. Let's see if we can get a better shot. Oh, kind of a little better shot. These are the holes I drilled in this baffle. About four inches from the bottom of the baffle. And then coming over this way, well, I got this baffle. And I actually did the teeth myself. Now, I don't have a video on it. But if you guys want to know how I made the teeth for this bath, I'll be glad to know that do another video for you. I have some extra plexiglass that I can show you guys. So, so it'll flow over this one. Come in, come down here. I will have one heater in between these two baffles. And then I'll also have, which will be my main heater, and I'll also have another heater in I have a huge gum area. But coming back. Sorry for the shakiness. So it'll go over and down. Under and then back up. My return section where I will have I got a uh, Jabo DC uh, 9000 return pump. Which will be coming up and my uh, return line which will be right there with also a ball valve that I will also be putting in there to turn the flow off just in case. So that's a little nutshell. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Um, actually I am thinking about painting the sides and the back of this sump black but you know what you guys think um, yeah leave them in the comments below
guys got any other questions, just leave them in the comments below. Other than that, keep it real and keep it reaping.